us now from Capitol Hill, Republican from Wyoming, Senator John Barrasso. And Senator, what would it have taken for you to uh, support this bill? Well, all of those speakers were right. It's a honeypot that went much too far. It was much too expensive. A trillion dollars is a terrible thing to waste. And they should have met us halfway, halfway of the of this spending amount. 400 billion, not 800 billion. To me, we should have done what Alice Rivlin, who advised Bill Clinton, said, which is do what's going to stimulate the economy as an emergency and do it now and do it quickly, and then be more thoughtful about some of these well, other issues. What was some issues. of the uh, spending that you thought that was not just stimulative? Well, I mean, you're talking about you know rewriting education, energy, health care. We could have done that over the next couple of months. There's a front page story in the Wall Street Journal today, and it talks about an, a $7 billion program. They're going to be lucky if they get that money out eight years from now. That's not going to stimulate the economy today. You needed things today as part of an emergency package, a much smaller package, to stimulate the economy, because every dollar in this package that doesn't stimulate the economy is just an extra dollar that we're going to be borrowing from the Chinese, and our kids and grandkids are going to have to pay for it. A lot of the Democrats, though, are arguing that every uh, dollar in government spending on something like uh, education, building schools, uh, greening office buildings, that that is, in fact, uh, employing somebody. Here was what uh, Senator Olympia Snow, Republican colleague of yours, here's what she said uh, on 1600 last night, and I'll get your reaction. Republicans, Democrats, and independents almost universally believe we should have a stimulus package. Economists of all political and philosophical persuasions believe that we do. So the question is the content and the composition. I happen to think it strikes uh, the right balance. It's not everything I would want. It's certainly not perfect. Uh, but the fact is uh, inaction is not an option at this point in time. Are you mad, are you mad at uh, your Republican colleague, Senator Snow? Well, I agree with her that inaction is not, is not in order at this time, but all of this action, this extra action, this extraordinary spending, this is the largest spending bill in the history of the United States. We're, we're, we're shooting all of our bullets. If it doesn't work, we're out of ammunition. I think we should have done this in a more measured way, a more thoughtful way, and really focused on what they talked about from the beginning, something that was timely and temporary and targeted. This is establishing a lot of new programs that are going to be with us forever at a much higher level of spending. What about the, uh, are you just, just as concerned, for example, about the, the trillion dollars that the Iraq war is going to cost that's also going to be put on uh, future generations? I mean, I just want to make sure we're sort of intellectually consistent here. Well, we're intellectually consistent. This was a bill that was rushed through the Senate and the House right now. You're talking about something that in just the last two weeks, we are spending more than what you just described that we've spent uh, since 9-11. I don't think that was, it was well thought out to make this decision this quickly when we could have done a more temporary and targeted smaller package and then come back to look at all of these things. You're not going to be able to reinvent energy, education, health care, and do all of that in such a short period of time. Uh, it is going well, to be very difficult point, to get this course. money. Go ahead. Well, it's a great point, except, of course, the difference being that, you know, a trillion dollars spent in Iraq doesn't have quite the same impact on our economy as a trillion dollars spent in the United States, right? You know, take a look at the front page story in the Washington Post today, and it talks about money that was been stripped out of this that were the things planned for jobs. I think they took out a number of the things that were going to do what we needed to do for the economy. Fix housing first. They took out the $15,000 uh, uh, tax credit for home buyers and for first time home buyers and they've reduced that number that's what got us into this problem in the first place and instead we have all these problems you just ran a whole list of all of the different programs that seem very wasteful and what we really should have done is given it at least another week have the members take this massive bill home take it home with you on the plane or the car or the train and then talk to people at home over the next week and then come back. And if you do that, I will tell you, this bill wouldn't have passed the House or the Senate if the members had a chance to go home. I went home last week to Wyoming, the weekend before that, and I talked to people all the time at home. And I'm not convinced enough members have been doing this with this package, because if they hear, hear from folks at home, they're going to trim this, they would have trimmed this down by a significant amount. Republican Senator John Barrasso of Wyoming, and Senator, good of you to join us. We appreciate it. Thank you, David. Coming up.